Hey everybody, what's happening? So I was at this rest stop in Oregon here on my way home and I met up with Todd with his awesome Astro van and he's just got such a cool building here. I wanted to show you guys, possibly give you some ideas. So can you give us a quick look around? Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look inside here. I put, uh, I put the bed all the way into the back uh, going across and um, actually extended out to a wider mattress in order to uh, be able to sleep a little more diagonally. I got the kitchen set up over there on the far side and then a little dresser set up here on the right and then uh, the pass-through doors bump into the front. So it gives me a little bit of open space right back here, more open space rather than closed space. And then the vast majority of all my gear is strapped to the outside. Awesome. So how is this bed constructed? Uh, right now it's just sitting up on uh, you know, the, the totes, the storage totes and whatnot. Um, I'm figuring out my layout and once I get my layout done just how I want it, oh, I um, see. I'll go ahead and I'll you know, board it up and uh, you know, turn it into more of a permanent thing. But Perfect, this is my okay. third layout that I've tried, and I'm pretty sure that this, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to what we're going to do permanently. Very and cool. So, yeah, my next stop is going to be down in Salt Lake City, and I'll probably pull into uh, my garage and uh, build it out. Nice. So you've got, this is a, this is a factory, um, the cargo, not, yeah, the cargo, yeah, cargo version. Man. So it's got uh, no windows on the sides. No windows on the sides. I wish it didn't have this side window or these back windows. Uh, my intention there is I'm going to go ahead and limo black them. Um, but then insulate them out so uh, ah. there is no, uh, you know, no solar coming through in the back whatsoever. And I'll do the same Definitely. thing with the partition in the middle um, between you know, the cab and the back end just to keep all the heat out. Definitely. Um, and of course, mount, uh, you know, mount my, uh, I found some uh, six and a half inch round uh, top vents mm -hmm. um, that come with in and out fans. And so I'm going to mount one in the back, one in the front, and then put uh, some, uh, some, some grates in the floor. Um, that'll be closable and openable, um, but it'll almost create a convection where uh, the hot air will start pulling cool air from underneath up through throughout the day. So oh, we're very have to cool! Much power. Very nice. So you've got a full rack back here. You've got a, you've got one on the roof. Yeah. The uh, big thing with me is I spend a lot of time outdoors, especially in the mountains. So up here, you know, I've got my kayak, all my skis and backpacks. Everything's in the Yakima rack. Uh, all my climbing gear, rock climbing gears up there. Got the bikes back here. Uh, up in here is you know fishing and. Uh, tackle, um, you know, outdoor shoes, you know, for all the different activities, things like that. Nice, nice. So, you yeah, got the, I'm pretty well weighted down. The full adventure setup. That's what I call it, my adventure vehicle. Nice, yeah. nice. Can we take one more quick look, like it's kind of like a detailed sweep through the yeah. inside? It's, it's pretty, in. pretty complex in there. Larry, get over here. Larry, come. <laughs> He's got a little chihuahua over there. So this is a pretty complex thing, guys. He's got the uh, Coleman cooler. He's got this table thing he's got stuff kind of set up on and then just the the cots up on the uh, up on the plastic thing and how is this uh, how is this dresser set in here uh, you know it's the common dresser that uh, you know you see at Walmart these days mm -hmm. that comes three high um, all I did is I stacked uh, two more on top of the three and then I just have it bungeed up into to that to hold it in place. Oh, just you know, bungee cords. Yeah, wonderful thing is I had it flipped around this other way so that it was going here, creating another partition off mm -hmm. the bed and the drawers facing that way. Very Problem cool. is, is when we try and stop real fast, all the drawers would fly. Oh, wow. And so I found that going this way, of course, we don't take off fast enough to make them fly. And when we stop, it just puts them back in. Nice. And so nice. I think that's where I'll keep that. But uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, if I permanently keep it here, I'll get rid of this unit in order to build it more back along this line ah. and just build in new drawers. So why did you choose the Astro over like a full-size van? Oh, I tell you, uh, I, I was looking at not only full-size vans, but, you know, people are doing cool, cool stuff with sprinters. Yeah. And uh, my, my goal over the next seven years is to go to all 50 states and only travel about 20, 25 miles a day and just, you know, see the places and the people. Wow. And I figured in doing that, uh, being small and being more mobile uh, is better. And, you know, you get into the large sprinter van and, you know, things like that, which, you know, fantastic. I can have everything in the world there, uh, but it takes me away from being out with people. Yeah. And so going smaller and smaller, I looked at, you know, a full-size van. Uh, but then even there, uh, you know, it's looking at, oh, you get longer, you get more space, um, but not that much more headroom. And I really started looking at, uh, you know, what do I really need? And I need a place to lay down. I need a place to sit. I need a place to jump on my computer. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. And so let's go all the way down to that. And then, of course, you know, I'll get better gas mileage, which nice. means I can get to more places. That's a very cool perspective. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah, but we'll see. I mean, it's been a short-term thing so far. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we'll see because I still got to get rid of some more stuff. I'm awfully heavy. That's been a tough thing is letting go of possessions. Stuff, That's been I the hear tough that. part. 
Um, I've, I've, I've been in it a year and I'm still trying to get rid of stuff and it's really yeah. hard. There's some stuff I haven't even used the whole time I've been on the road, but it's like, I really don't want to get rid of this, but I don't need the space, nor do I have it in the Astro. Yeah, well, you know, the, the tubs that are underneath the bed right now, mm -hmm. um, down there, there's six suits, um, you know, five pairs of dress shoes. You know, these things where, what if I need them, because I come from a business world, mm -hmm. what if I need them, and yet, here I'm going on this adventurous journey. And so, yeah, tough to let go of certain items for sure. Yeah, definitely. So how long have you been in the van? Uh, just six days. Six days? Yeah. Okay, so what's your experience been so far? It's freaking awesome. Yeah? The, uh, the waking up, somewhere different, has been the coolest part. Nice. Uh, without a doubt. But even like tonight, uh, you know, driving down, and uh, all of a sudden there's a rest stop. It's like, you know, it's starting to, you know, sun's going down. Just pull over here and spend the night. You know, nice. that, that's so cool, just not not having a plan. Absolutely. Yeah, well, somewhat of a plan, you know, an overall where I'm going, but nothing day to day. Let the details work themselves out. Absolutely. Totally. Well, thank you so much. You bet. Thanks for stopping. Hey, guys, I hope you found this video inspiring and helpful. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and check out my mobile dwelling tour playlist and my van dwelling playlist for more uh, van tours and information about thriving in the van. So thanks for watching. Love yourself. Woo!